All right, we're going to round this number to the nearest tenth, hundredth, and thousandth. Let's first round to the nearest tenth. So our tenth position is one digit to the right of our decimal point. So our tenth position is there, is the four that comes right after the decimal. So when we're rounding, what I like to do is I like to put a box around the digit we're rounding. So we're rounding to the nearest tenth, so we're going to put a box around that position. We're going to draw an arrow to the digit to the right of the tenth position. And now we can see that this is a five. So if you have a five here, or anything greater than a five, like a six, seven, eight, or nine, then the digit in the box becomes one bigger. Okay? So because this is five, it becomes one bigger. So it changes from four to five, because five is one bigger than four. And anything that, that comes before the digit we're rounding stays the same. So we have zero decimal. Anything that comes after the digit you're rounding becomes zeros. So we're going to have three zeros. Okay? So this is our number rounded to the nearest tenth. Now we're going to round to the nearest hundredth. So our hundredth position is two over from our decimal point. So if we put a box around our hundredths position, and we look one to the right, we can see that that's a seven. Now, since it's a seven, the five is going to become one bigger. So it's going to become now a six. And what's in front of that rounded number is going to stay the same. So it's zero decimal four. So that stays the same. It doesn't change. Okay? And now what comes after the rounded number um, changes to zeros. Okay? So instead of 7, 2, we're going to have zeros. So this number here is our number rounded to the nearest hundredth. Okay? Now we're going to round to the nearest thousandth. So our thousandth position is 3 to the right of our decimal point. So if we do our thousandth position, I'll do it down here, we have 0. 5, 7, 2, and our thousandths position is our 7, okay? And we look to the right of our 7, and we see it's a 2. So 2 is less than 5, so that means that our 7 stays the same. So the position we're rounding stays the same. Everything before that number stays the same. Because anything before the place you're rounding always stays the same, okay? So we have 0, decimal, 4, 5, 7, and anything after the position you're rounding becomes a 0. So we have 0, decimal, 4, 5, 7, 0. Okay, so that's our number rounded to the nearest thousand.